Let's move to division now. All right, uh, this is 1,480 divided by eight. So I'm gonna set 1,480, which is my dividend, all the way to the right. And I'm gonna set eight to the, all the way, you know, I think I, yeah, okay, I did this wrong. Okay, it's 16,000. 16,000, not 1,000. Yeah. So 16,480. Yes. All the way to the right. And eight all the way to the extreme left, which is my divisor. And now eight goes into 16,000, uh, 2,000 times. So we're gonna set our 2,000 in the one billions period. So we'll set 1,000. And now two, uh, eight, no, oh, shoot, it's 2,000. <laughs> and okay. eight times 2,000 is 16,000. So we can clear 16,000. What's your new dividend? And our new dividend is 480. And eight. 480. Okay, 480. Okay. Eight goes into 480 uh, 60 times, and eight, I'm gonna set the 60 there in the uh, millions period, in the 10 millions period. And now. Because this unit marker, this unit the mark second unit marker, is end really of your, decimal is your decimal of your point. quotient. Yeah, so okay. now you're going to do uh, eight times. 60 is 480. So you're clearing and it? And you're clearing that. So now you can basically, if this is your decimal point, your answer is going to be 2,060. OK, now I'd like you to do a problem where there will be a remainder. OK. OK. Cool. All your right. dividend is 109. 109 divided by 2. So 109 okay. I'll set to the extreme right, which is my dividend, and 2 all the way to the left, which is my divisor. So Two goes into 100 50 times. So I'm going to set 50 in the 10 millions period, 50. And 2 times 50 is 100. And 2 goes Your into. Your new dividend? My new dividend is 9. Okay. And 2 goes into 9 four times. And I will set 4 in the 1 millions period. And 2 times 4 is 8. So clear 8. And whatever's left over is going to be a remainder. And your remainder so always has to always be, has to be all the way to the right. less right. than your divisor. Okay. So then yeah. you know you're done. Cool. And you clear your divisor. And your final answer is 54, and your remainder is 1.